not f***ing with you niggas Y'all been shaky like some strippers What's in my cup? Boy, I'm off that liquor Looking at me crazy Get you hit up with that flipper I'm not f***ing with you niggas Y'all been shaky like some strippers What's in my cup? Boy, I'm off that liquor Looking at me crazy Get you hit up with that flipper I'm not fucking with you niggas Don't care if y'all fuck with me All up on the nigga page Trying to keep up with me All in private talking down But they know what's up with me In my presence show respect Before that shit get ugly I had some pussy niggas I had to cut off well, I'm, walking, I'm, walking, I'm walking out of this shit <laughs> What it is, what it ain't. It's your boy Low Key V. And it's your main man K3. And this is Paid and Bays. Where we get money and wash our ass. <laughs> Alright, man. We got a special guest in the house, man. A real special guest. This one real you know special. What the fuck going on, man? Yeah, we've been waiting a whole year for this one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so um, without further ado, you know what I'm saying? We got Duval artist, Rara Rossiano in the house, man. Everybody give it up for Rara Rossiano. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. How you feeling, man? I'm all right, you know what I'm saying? Could have been just another day, but nigga out the chain game, so it ain't just another day. It's better yeah. than usual. It's all right, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. Boy just came home from doing 10, fair time. You know what I'm saying? So we definitely going to get into that. but And I got my paperwork, too. You just look me up. Yeah, yeah, mm. no right. Yeah, got my paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to talk about that, too. We appreciate we... that. Yeah, right. Because yeah. we don't let no rats sit on the couch. But... Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. it was that one time. <laughs> hey. You funny as fuck. Patreon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, we don't be in street politics, so, yeah, it, it's cool. You it, Thank you for keeping it solid. Oh, yeah, yeah. I keep it solid. You <laughs> talking about thank you for keeping it solid. Nigga, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> and if y'all is, um, you know what I'm saying, wondering, I know he kind of favored his handsome face mm -hmm. over here. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? No, no, no. So, yeah, yeah. For those who don't know, we is, that's my brother, blood brother, older brother. But Cut that. No, nigga. Don't put that in there. They know, they know you my brother. Yeah, don't put that in there, though. Why? No. He, just let it. Let them, if they know us, don't put that in there. No, nigga. I'm not going <laughs> to sit here and act like you're not my brother. Right. Like, you sound <laughs> crazy as fuck. No. You put that in there like He that. be thinking like everybody nah, out there. Nah, it's just because. Anybody. You know why? It's because it's going to be like the content is based on for me being like, some, no. like who knows who. You know, yeah. familiarity. No, let it that, be. Like, that's fine, but we're not going to say that. Like, fun, like, you're not my brother. You nigga. know how long it takes for you to find out stuff in the industry, in the real world? Do you know, like, on the real, like, you be like, oh, I didn't know that was, oh, I didn't know Stacey Dash was. Because they don't be in the same rooms, but Dame Dash and Stacey Dash so, are not from the city. So do an think, interview and act like so, they're not so cousins. So you think Dame Dash gonna be in the room with Stacey Dash? Like, yeah, y'all know we related, right? On live, nah. Somebody gonna that. bring it up. They got the same last but name. So, What's use a keyword? Somebody gonna bring it up. You don't popularize. You don't popularize. Yourself. If they're in the same room, you sound crazy. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Guess what? If we was in the same room, we in the same room, and the outsider was there, they'll be the one to speak on it. If they knew, if they knew. Well, I spoke on it. This is my brother. <laughs> Y'all done see my sister on this bitch and my cousin on this bitch. And you got some competition because Nisha shit be going up. She bring the Nisha viewers. Nisha can't fuck with me. I ain't Nisha, been out Nisha a favorite, though. Hey, yeah. I ain't been out a week. Yeah, because they want to fuck. <laughs> see, I ain't been out a week. I ain't, yeah. out, I ain't been out a week, right? <laughs> and I'm popping. I'm that nigga, man. Yeah. All right. Everybody trying to see what's yeah. up with the kids. So we already put it out. Y'all already see. We finna be going back and even, forth. Even, even VO hoes been, hit, been hitting me like, man, what's up with Big Bro? Yeah. yeah. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He talking about, yeah. You know, they they yeah. they know what's up. You know what I'm saying? You can have the you can have the old ones, but uh, here niggas go eighteen to eighty, man. All right, but let's get into it, man. So <laughs> eighteen to eighty, <laughs> this nigga here. Let's get into man, let's it. Turn up, man. So how you feel being home, man? Hey, you just asked me that right before. Man, I swear to God. answer the damn question. Yeah, I just answered it. Listen, I'm home. We lit. It's up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fuck up a lot of households. I know that though, because you know these hoes bite. These hoes choosing. You know okay. what I'm saying? Shit, really, you know what I mean? Like, they, they, I hear some niggas, they be like, um, when I was leaving out, like a lot of niggas, like, man, what you finna do when you get out? Da, 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 da. And, uh, 
they were steady focused on me. I don't know what you gonna eat first. Who you gonna fuck first? I'm like, man, that's the regular shit. See, when I got out the first time, I thought like that because I did some time for when I was younger. Mm-hmm. But now it's about getting myself established. Eating good food and fucking hoes, that's just regular shit. That's just shit. You live an irresponsible lifestyle and you mm-hmm. took your freedom away, which was already given to you by God. You considered them things to be high up than they was. It's just regular shit. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So I'm just looking forward to getting myself established. That's it. And, uh, you know, a lot of niggas was confused. Like when I was even out there, like, man, you sure you can go out there and win? Because, you know, even the chain game, my shit was tailored. You know what I'm saying? Hit up all the way to the middle. Everyone went tight ankle. But guess what? It's heartbeat entertainment with my shirt. You're going to see my heartbeat in my shirt, nigga. Okay. If, I, if it don't make noise when I put it on, I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas jumping out. Speaking of shirts, what's, what's this shirt you got on? What that shit, mean? you reading it, nigga. Everybody gotta tell you what it means. Mean, y'all see this shit, man? Oh. Read, it's HBL. This hey, yo! <laughs> yeah. This, this my I was man. I was waiting for you to catch it. My man Sterling, man. Oh, when you said so. I, Shout I, out to I, HBL, man. My man Sterling, man. He's got his clothes be line. You know what I'm saying? Hoes be lying. Hoes yeah. be lying, man. He ain't tell me that either. Him. He didn't yeah, me. I was in the house. I was like, hoes be lying. Yeah, he the one told me that. Yeah, nah, because when you said something about the shirt, I'm like, and then I just, I just and, not and On that subject, though, it's crazy. You got that, you got the blue pill, red pill with hoes. Like, they, one, they're going to lie. But it's up to you, because some, some, mm. some women, I ain't going to say bitch word, some women, like, if you call them out on lies, they'll get more irate. Like, they'll be like, yeah. like you got me, you don't know what I'm going to do. You got me fucked up. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're like, guess what? You told me you was coming over here. Yeah, but I told you. My son, head bus open. He got to see the plane charges. <laughs> I'm like, so you got to take him to see? Yes, the helicopter from the land right now. Like, All right. All right. You don't believe me? Like, yeah, I believe you. Okay, I love you. So now, if I keep it real, I'm like, man, ho, you lying. You know what? Fuck you. Yeah. Don't try to me, no, mm-hmm. no. You know. Or so they don't, don't try to cry. Yeah, they hate ones they can't yeah. manipulate. See, oh, I, just, yeah. I love the realists, but it's crazy because the realists, it's only really two type of realists when you deal with a woman. You got the realist that stops, which is mm-hmm. I'll just my, say they they're, be my best, they're my best realist yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. They be then, great women, though. But then you got the realist who is emotional and looking for commitment. Oh, them the worst ones. Because it could be anything. Like, I could be like, I ain't finna tell her that I'm going to the bar with brother, sip some drinks and watch some mm-hmm. hoes dance. I, I, Cause that shit ain't gonna let me do. Hey, hey, baby, I'm finna um, go get some gas and uh. Now nah, you lie. Me. Yeah, but it wasn't. Man, sometimes women deserve to be lied to. I, I mean, I, I agree, cause some I, people can't handle it. I'm the not truth. saying deserve like because they, they, mm-hmm. they less uh, anything. I'm saying deserve like, man, we do stupid shit. We men. Yeah. We just agree. And if you're going to judge me for it, I might as well. And sometimes you got to protect her ahead of time because you mm-hmm. can't handle the truth, even if it's not nothing bad. Yeah, but as long as... All right, but I got to hold it down for the ladies because... No, nigga, you just don't... Uh, you just hate being lied to. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> when it's the other way, a bitch lie about anything, we don't like that. You ain't yeah. got to lie to me because I see, ain't going to trip off nothing you say. We is the man. See, the man, we carry different titles. The woman solidly swells not to be a whore. The man solidly swells not to be a coward. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We got to protect the fucking tiger. Nah, I'm, that's, this is, no, this no, is no. motherfucking unwritten rules, nigga. That's no, true. Listen, listen, we can, listen, 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 listen. Hold on, let me break it down. Mm-hmm. We can fuck as many bitches as we want, and we still the man. We the catch. Even a, a real woman would be like, well, he know he get him some pussy. Mm-hmm. He fine as hell. But if a bitch fuck a whole a bunch of niggas, niggas. I mean, I whole mud it out. And that's what, but if a chick That's tell, not what I'm saying. Can you let me tell? Go listen, ahead. Finish. If a chick is a coward. She gets beat up, but she's like, I'm not fighting you. I'm a girl. You ain't gonna let me know what's up. I'm yeah, I ain't letting my girl fight nobody. Okay, mm-hmm. but guess what? Let's you get punked out in front of her. She's gonna be like, oh, I know you ain't talking to me. You ain't just doing mm-hmm. that. So it's that's the things that we take in. We take in the alpha, and they take in. That's the cool. Live in your feminine energy and let me live in my masculine energy. But <clears throat> iron shop and iron. And if we're together, we're a unit. So I'm not gonna do things that I don't want you to do. So I don't like being lied to. So I don't like the lie. Sis watch the pod, bro. So he finna, he finna act totally different. Nah, I'm just being honest. <laughs> no, I'm saying no. Don't lie to me. I'm I won't but, lie to you. I'm but no, you right, though. You me, right, though. You right. I'm so thorough that every woman yeah. that I be with be like, I'm different from other niggas. They actually can't take it because I'm very blunt and transparent and honest. So it brings out the honesty in them. Now, have Man. I dealt with the liar? Yeah. yeah what he's trying to tell you is he tender. He tender <laughs> yeah, that's right. that's so, what he's trying to tell nigga, you. I know you but for real. He's trying real to say, listen, to oh, of course, everybody has Soft ass, ass nigga. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I think shit actually is. I'll beat your ass, boy. We'll move all this front of you. Because it's really, 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 it's no, you hey, better chill your ass, ass out. Small, bro. Shut your ass up. Shut your ass up, boy. And my man, we could pay. We could pay, <laughs> we could pay for all this shit. WWE. That's all I'm trying hey, to say, man. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Not, it's, 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 that that shit, that shit, man. This nigga over here fanning himself on camera. Y'all something professional. Shut your ass up, nigga. 
Yeah. This is crazy. Let's go. Something. Listen, you, but the women shit, the lying and shit. If I'm not like nowadays, I tell the truth about everything. Mm-hmm. When I was younger, I realized that when you whatever you meet a chick on, that's what the relationship gonna be based on. If you meet her and be like, oh, it's just you, da, 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 but you in a relationship. Oh yeah, that's why your girl car got bust up. That's mm-hmm. why she trying to hit you with car. I done been all that trying, bitch trying to hit me with cars, all that shit. But I'm talking about when you tell them the truth, look, I got a girl, doing this, look, I'm fucking these hoes, you'll be surprised how many women actually be like, okay, Respect what? that. And, yeah. and, mm-hmm. and it bothers them because they don't like, go with your girl then. Go with your holding because mm-hmm. they know they got to live with it. But I'm just saying this, though. Certain little things, you don't get, now, like I was saying, the, the other realist is the one that is intact with her emotions. And she's a real good girl. And if that little lie that you told, which was wrong, that was being told, saying, "Oh, I was going to the, I'm going to do something else when I'm going mm-hmm. to the bar with him to mm-hmm. watch the stripper." Guess what she's gonna say? You hurt me. I trusted you. Mm-hmm. I gave you my everything. What? Mm-hmm. She the worst one because it's only okay. If I'm telling, I think she the best one. Yeah, I don't agree. She the worst one. I'm gonna say the worst. She one. She the one who really cares. She cares. I'm saying the worst one in the fa- in the in the in the out of those two. Out of those two, because yeah, out of the I, whole if hell. I say yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to the club to, to to drink with with Key and and watch some whole strips, she's gonna be like, excuse me, you can really do what? <laughs> yeah, am I not enough for you? Like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. ever had one of them chicks like the real real smart ones? This born, My it's ex. a born relationship, but they be the best women, but the relationship is born. I don't even give yeah. me an argument sometimes. They don't now. want you so to be don't, yourself. Yeah, don't just listen mm-hmm. to me all the time. Like, you know, I, and I sound stupid because <laughs> I don't really like all. I don't like. I don't like. I'm not trying to sound like I'm, I'm coming over and say I don't like arguing, but I need some kind of spice in a relationship. I need some kind of, you know what I'm saying? I need oh, some like kind I of saying, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't want I don't want everything to be a just little like, toxicity, just a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to make it keep going. For me, I like I just like a woman that's gonna disagree with me. I just you know what I'm saying? But I don't want it to be toxic. I, I say, you can swing on me here and there. Nah, I ain't, I ain't doing that. Yeah, I ain't doing no it's cool. I like that. I don't that. do domestic violence. I like I like I like the aggression. Like, it's passion. I don't, but I, I attract. <laughs> you know what he trying to say now? He trying to tell you he beat his hoes up. That's what he's <laughs> <laughs> I know that's what he's That's funny out there. They go, oh, his brother said it? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true. Up. All right, but let's get No, let's, he really let's... beats bitches. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but let's really get into it before we get into like everything. Um, you know what I'm saying? I know you want to focus more on being home and stuff, but for the people that's watching, you know, it's it's young niggas who watch us who going down the wrong path and things like that. What you want to say to the audience? Like, 10 years was like the most time you got. That wasn't your first time doing a bid. But what was like the difference? Like, how was that reaction when the judge said, okay, you got to sit down and do 10 years in federal prison? Like, give people some insight. No, I'm being on TYC, man. Y'all got that? Y'all yeah, that's that. on camera. That's on camera. Mm-hmm. I don't know where the camera's at. You they in front of you. TYC, take your charge, man. So, when you do something, you got to be responsible for what you do. The the thought of the thought of bailing out of you already living an irresponsible lifestyle by breaking the law. The last thing that needs to come to your mind is telling on somebody. All right. So now I, I, you didn't speak on that, but I'm just saying mm-hmm. like that's what the game is based on now, and it's to the point where. It's like an ace in the hole for a lot of niggas. But for me, like you asked me, for my, my, when that happened with me, I knew when, because the state is different. When I caught the state time, it was like, everybody go to the state. It's just like, you'd be like, oh, we're trying to give you six. Well, tell them I do four right now. No, nah, they, they come back, we take five. Ah, oh, man, tell them I get, you know what I'm saying? Like, you mm-hmm. could do that. And the feds is not like that. My first time in the, when I got indicted in the feds, and they was talking about, well, they kept, it was crazy because <clears throat> I, I didn't even, when they brought the indictment to me, I was in there for some whole other shit. And they brought the indictment to me. Um, he, he told me the amount, and he was like, yeah, it's a 500 gram drug conspiracy and furtherance of drug trafficking with a firearm. I never got caught with a gun in my life, and I never got caught with, I said 500 grams. I said, yeah. I said, you got to show me that. I want to see what you see me with that. I know you ain't seen, nobody yeah. seen me with that. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's different because it'll be like, the federal indictment will be like, when you start making a little more money, enough to be on the radar, or more violence is coming in, and they be mm-hmm. like, oh, we got to get, we got to deal with these niggas. So I was basically, I'm just like, oh, what you found over there? That okay, six ounces. What you find over there? Nineteen ounces. What you find over five ounces? Two chocolate. Oh, let's just let's together. just want to say five hundred grand. Okay, okay, I can't believe yeah. that. And the gun, it was just basically like, oh well, take me to trial, nigga. You always got one, cause mm-hmm. even in court, it was just like um, um, and all this you could look up the sentencing minutes on my case. I'm Vernon Jiggins, six twelve two three zero one eight. I got a public profile. Um, um, no rats allowed. So uh, all this you could look up on my case. So the judge. Was the prosecutor was saying, trying to paint this picture like, oh, these violent crimes. And the 
my lawyer said, man, y'all ain't, he ain't never got caught with a gun. And the prosecutor said, um, Judge, John Gotti never got caught killing nobody. Mm-hmm. So right then I seen, like, okay, this is different. This ain't the same ball game as mm-hmm. like the state. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. They was in court paying him like, you know, a brown. I'm mm-hmm. in there like, he really a bitch for real. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, talk, hey, we talking about a nigga. <laughs> we talking about <laughs> When we little, he yeah. called me. Up, yeah. said, hey, Rara, come here. They're outside. I can like they're trying to fight and they're banging on the door. <laughs> I'm 14 on the bike. Gotta pull up. up with the click. He was making <laughs> shit up. You done told the story or not? You I probably, I probably was about to get jumped or something. Nah, was, they weren't finna do nothing to you. You just, was, just man, well, I'm big, bro. You just know that. You know what I'm saying? Don't act like but, that, because you know I'm gonna bump. Don't, don't play. Not me. when you seven, eight years old. Hey, listen, but check this out. Um, so the whole thing is that if something can happen, it will happen. Mm-hmm. If I'm throwing this brick in the air and not looking up and it's falling. It might not hit me the first, second, third, tenth, or fifteenth time, but eventually, if I keep throwing it up, not looking in the air, it's going to hit me in the head. So, if you riding around with a gun, but you got a plan to throw it out the window when the police pull you over, and it's been working real effectively, eventually you will get caught if you keep doing it. Yeah. And if you selling drugs, it's not no singular effort. You have to sell it to somebody or cop it from somebody. So you don't put your fate in somebody else's hands like that because. 95% of the city don't have federal attention. You know, not saying like the city ain't making no money. The city yeah, making a lot of money. Really I'm just saying yeah. like, no, well, I say 95% because a lot of niggas from Jacksonville are not in the feds. You get know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? The shit that niggas go to feds for other cities, they go for guns. Literally, that gun, a gun. Mm-hmm. You're not going for a gun in Jacksonville. It got to be this trigger pin filed off or the missing serial number. Jacksonville, you had to do some shit to go to that feds. You had a real bad record in the feds. They could get rid of you so they could ACC you or... Or you got a big drug indictment, or y'all had a violent drug indictment. It just, it ain't just gonna be. You, you don't hear when back when I was going to the county from '07 to 2014 when I got indicted. You don't hear too many niggas saying, "Oh, he gonna go fed." You don't hear that. That ain't something. But when I go into the prison, the federal prison, I hear a lot of niggas saying, <clears throat> like you see, you might see 20, 50, 20, 25 niggas from one city. Charleston or goddamn Savannah because they do that to them but they don't do that to Jasmine. Mm-hmm. But a nigga coming for a gun charge every day and get out. Fifteen hundred dollar bond I've seen sometimes, thirty five hundred normal. But long story short, man, the rap songs is they pushing the narrative that go drill, go do this, go do that, but they're not telling you about the after effects. They're not telling you about the court cases. They're not telling you about the people that's not gonna that you thought was cool that's not gonna be there no more. And uh my first bit when I got out, yeah, I still was I still was in the streets. I still was. I was a horrible person. I was doing a lot of fuck shit, but I grew up and I realized that you can't never get these days back, you know. And uh, you got to take care of yourself because ain't nobody else gonna do it. If you that's don't, real. if you don't look after yourself, ain't nobody else gonna do it. <clears throat> so, you know, you hurting the ones that's around you too, you know. But not saying like, um, I know where I live at. It's still, it's still a dangerous place. So you know, I still precautious. Ain't nobody gonna harm me, but. At the same time, as far as all that um breaking these people's laws and I'm not I'm not I'm not an average nigga, like they will have it out for me more. You know, so mm-hmm. nah, that's over. But I'm, my message to the young to the youth of the city is that just at least start thinking about the things you do before you do it. Don't just be so quick to to jump into something just because everybody else doing it or it's going on because it's all right when they're not paying attention to you. But if you get federal attention, you going to jail. There ain't no way around it. What is it, 85%, real. 95% conviction rate? I mean, yeah. nah, it's With a lot That's a 99% conviction rate. <laughs> Nobody beats them. But when they do, everybody knows who it is. Mm-hmm. See, the feds, they don't indict you until they know they got you. Yeah, they're going to build that bit. I remember when he came to see me. Because a lot of head niggas, I hear niggas always say like, oh, my agent. Which, I don't know what the fuck that came from. But niggas say that be like they've been speaking to him. Man, when the person comes see you, he gonna ask you to cooperate, or he might not. Some niggas I heard they might not. I don't know. But the agent came. He basically coming to talk to you to try to see if you're gonna break. If you don't break, you're not gonna see him no more. You're gonna go. The only time you're gonna see him is at change of plea hearing when your ass is getting sentenced. So basically, what I'm saying is that when I seen him when that, that day when I seen him, uh, the, he didn't call me down there. Uh, 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 Another detective called me for violent charges. 
And he called me down there, and they, but I ain't have nothing to do with what he was calling me about. And I, I don't know, whatever. So he's like, all right, we're going to try to put you away to your grave. I'm like, bitch, I don't know the shit you're talking about for real. <laughs> so then, now, he comes, he's like, he's like, he's like, so, he's like, I'm like, all right, ready to go? So he's like, no, somebody's going to talk to you. I'm like, what? So the, and the agent come in there, he got a big shiny badge. He got like a um, a tree fit hoodie on. He a big white dude. He don't, you know, like regular officers and detectives in the city, the city limits, some of them be kind of like older, rusty, like, you know, they can't be put on no foot chase or nothing. But he came in, he had, he was like a, like a glow to him, like like how I am now. Like, he was like that. I'm <laughs> so, I'm also short, so he had like a glow to him. He like, um, he had an ATF on the thing. So he like, all right, Mr. Jiggins, I'm coming in here to speak. I was like, you want to talk to me? He like, yeah. I'm like, about somebody else? He's like, no, about you. So I'm really, I'm like, I'm like, I'm with the ATF, whatever. I'm saying, well, he's like, you know what that is? I'm like, yeah, I thought it was Atlanta Task Force at the time. He's mm-hmm. like, no, the alcohol, tobacco, firearms, and explosives. And I'm like, all right, what would you guys talk to me about? So he was like, well, do you know this guy? And I'm like, no. He's like, you ever seen him sell drugs? I'm like, no. Yeah, you know this guy? I'm like, no. Yeah, you ever seen him sell drugs? I'm like, no. He kept asking. He said, are you lying? I said, oh, if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. He's like, well, listen, man. And he took the papers and he took the paper. Okay, and flip this up. I don't want to flip this up. Mm, yeah. And he put him on this. And he started getting up. He's like, I'm about to tell you, man. I'm about to crank up a bus and you need to jump on it. It's gonna run your ass over. So I'm like, um, so I'm like, hey, what, what y'all, y'all in this, y'all together? So the dude was like, hey, we're trying to put you away. He's like, no. I'm not trying to put you away. I'm like, man, take me back. I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on. It's like you got a middle argument or some shit. A long story short, you never see him again. If you didn't tell, you're not gonna see that agent no more. Or nobody else but your lawyer. Because they're not gonna talk to you no more. It's just they're gonna apply full pressure. But you know, a lot of you know, you gotta stand for something or you'll fall for anything. Mm. Don't don't um don't they look at you like I told I had somebody try to talk somebody who cooperated in the holding facility, he used to always be like trying to talk to me. And, you know, I don't name drop, but he's, he used to be like, man, hey, man, you know, cause I knew him before he cooperated, like in the city. He was he had a little name and shit, but you know, I should go out the window once you do this. So he was like, man, you don't think, man, you know, you could get out of here, man. I'm like, man, that shit over with. So he said to me, he said, um, one time he asked me, he said, you don't think that you're trying to prove something or something to that nature? You, you trying to prove the wrong thing? And I said, he said, what you get? Yeah, he said, what you get out of this? I say, this is what I get out of this. I say, it ain't in me to feel like I need to get out of this situation. I'm going to do 10, and I'm going to come home. Because it was 10 to life, but they was working on, like, trying not to get... Because, you know, whatever your code offenders catch, you got to catch more than them if you ain't cooperate. So that's what the thing was, how it was going to go. Because you just... I played, I played no mercy to the courts. Like, if the judge just sentenced me off, off her brain. But she was, like, a Spanish lady. She was, she was feeling me, though. But, um, <laughs> so I told him, I said... <laughs> <laughs> I don't got it in me to feel like it's another way out. I say, but what what I do this for, what do the, the, the thrill I get out of this is knowing that 10 seconds, 10 years, 10 minutes down the line, that prosecutor going to look in the mirror and say, I couldn't break that nigga. That's what I get out of this. That's, That's the best feeling shit. in the world. That's some real shit. And yeah. I was in the sentencing one time. When I was mm. in sentencing, she kept coming to the lawyer and saying, Tell him we're gonna say we're gonna cause she did though. She was she did and this is a badass white bitch. I wish I could say her name. I could say her name. No, I think we can yeah. see for that. No, I can say, you say, no, you say her name. Nah, hell no. Nah. You ain't seen the feds before, but right, y'all ain't seen the feds. The feds pull up. That's how you said. Man, the bitch, the bitch name. Oh, what what what, what? Oh. Man, look, the bitch first name was Kelly, man. The bitch was bad white. If you see me, Kelly. So what Michelle G man said she throwing coconuts from a coconut tree in there. Well, <laughs> it's on a swat. <laughs> all I'm saying is hey, she kept coming to the table. Because they cooperated, but you know, I guess she didn't. She she guess she felt like okay, well I got to get him so I can get. So she, she, they be thirsty for information. Information is money to them. So I guess she didn't get enough from them. So I was just yeah. telling him like, hey, when we going to trial? Because at the time I don't think I'm going to trial, but he ain't letting me. He he was explaining to me like, man, you got co defendants that is here that will that will testify. You got mm-hmm. that will testify you, and then if that happens, then guess what? Um, you going to prison. For a long time. So long story short, uh, she came to him and was like, Hey, when um tell him let him know that if he's planning on taking me to trial, that I'll raise the minimum mandatory and I'll ex- I'll expand the, the the quantity and quality, whatever. And I, I was trying to say something to her, but he was loyal, was like, he like, don't, don't talk, don't no, no. I, I'm like, hey, listen, tell her. I'll do 10, get out, and be younger than she is right now. And guess what? I got out. I'm 34. I'm younger than she was at the time when I got indicted. 
So I don't give a fuck. Man. Amen to that. Now let's interject. You talking about amen to that? Nah, that's some real. You said some real shit, but we gotta speed it up. Um. So lastly, you you got one. I'm gonna say let's just keep it going. Okay, okay. Lastly, um, your first day out freestyle went crazy. You know what I'm saying? You let the people see what type of talent you're working with. So let them know about you musically, what you got coming, and you know what 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 should they expect. I'm the best ever came out of Jacksonville, man. You know what I'm saying? From the prison yards. From the, no, it's not funny. I'm dizzy. See, you got to ask the originals. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got to go to like uh, Freddie Wade, Free Freddie Wade, man. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Um, you got to go to niggas like um, um, all the niggas from the 07, 08 era of the prison. I held it down for Jacksonville, battle rap and all that shit. The county jail back then. See, but when I was coming up, we didn't have no rappers. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I was getting it out of like just rap, 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 rap. And all the niggas who was the like Eskimo, rest in peace. Who was um mm-hmm. who was um close, he was real close to me. You know, we got the I still remember that verse. The cut so as fuck. Yeah. I got this on YouTube. Y'all wanna see Rara Space Rossiano on YouTube. And I'm glad you mentioned that. Let, let, let me tell y'all for y'all who like try to look him up and y'all can't find his older music, it's so funny how shit works. The <laughs> same thing that happened to us. Happened to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, a, a woman de- deleted, deleted everything. Everything off. He had thousands of views now, and she went in and deleted all his shit on some spice shit. Mm-hmm. I want to flatten that bitch tires, but I was mad. <laughs> I had eggs in a bag. I was young, though. I ain't give a fuck. I was, I was gonna throw eggs at that bitch. And it was a cracker. You know mm-hmm. She really? was a white woman. I ain't gonna say she was a cracker. I'm getting older now. I don't want to use racial slurs. You know? <laughs> so, we say cracker. So, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I say cracker to crackers, like. You know, you got white people, then you got crackers. You know what I'm saying? But there's some good yeah, white yeah. people in the world. This was but a cracker, I'm, though. She did yeah. that. Yeah, after that, that bitch ate the dick, too, boy. So, listen. <laughs> what I'm going to say here is... um. R.I.P. the hood. Yeah, yeah, she died. That bitch had an overdose. You know what's crazy? <laughs> nah, she wasn't on drugs when I was talking to her. But this is what I'm going to say. What's crazy was that That's when crazy. I knew her, the bitch wasn't doing nothing. She was going to school to be a police officer. The bitch bought me everything, was looking out for me. So, long story short... She got in a car accident, like, the last one I'm talking to her, she got in a car accident. So I remember she was like, she had a rental and all that shit because her car got fucked up. She kept calling me to you know where I can get any perks? You know where I can get any perks? I'm like, get your junkie ass off my shit. So I hang up. <laughs> so next thing you know, years pass. I turn up. I'm running, ripping and running the city and shit. So next thing you know, damn, she, I didn't see her no more. But I went to jail. And when I went to jail, it was this, all these bases from the area where she used to be at. Well, I didn't know she'd be there, but they kept saying her name. But I'm like, nah, nah, this ain't the girl. And some made me ask this fat Mexican dude. I asked him that smoke crack. I'm like, hey, the girl you talking about that be tricking and shooting up and smoking dope, she look good? So he's like, yeah, she's bad. But I'm like, man, you, you, know, you head first. I'm like, man, anything look bad to you, man. I'm like, what she look like? He's like, she's skinny as fuck. I'm like, skinny? She ain't got, because this girl had a little Yeah, she was So I'm like, yeah. you sure? Like, yeah. So like, if I show you a picture, I forgot I had a picture, mm-hmm. but like a week later, so if I show you a picture, you tell me, you're like, yeah. So I go to get a picture. He's like, "That's her, bro. That's her. Damn, she was big. Damn. <laughs> Damn, she was big." I'm like, "Man, this girl smoking dope." Be like, "Yeah, hell yeah, man. Whatever." But she's big right there. I'm like, "Listen, she's shooting up." Be like, "Yes, man. I'm telling you." Whatever. So I'm like, "Hey, man." He keep talking. Damn, she was big there. I say, Do "You sure she smoked dope?" He said, "I smoked dope with her, bro." <laughs> like, yeah, she did smoke dope. He said that. So boom. Um, what happened? Ended up happening. I found out the real story, the whole story, the accident, money. She started getting on the Percocets because she had had a back injury. And when she got on the Percocets, they had gave her 15... Th- they were supposed to give her a lot more money, but she settled out for $15,000 and ended up getting pimped by this nigga who was selling drugs. And he pimped her, you know, put her on the crack because the I guess the heroin wasn't available at the time. Whatever, however that shit go. But yeah, she got strung out and ended up overdosing. But yeah, that was later, way after, but I... Uh, God bless her soul. I ain't finna be one of them niggas be like, what are you calling her now? It was just her time to go. She did some dumb shit. Um, yeah, no, yeah. I'm a, ain't, like, y'all was locked in at one point. So. Man, that shit was three months. See, I don't know if I know you 60 days, man, I love you. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, for real. I don't got, I'm not a I relationship ain't even nigga. Him out. Man, wait, 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 wait. Four months. Okay, what? The bitch I was crazy about the hat, all the kids and all that shit there. That was four months, man. Yeah, so, but you was crazy about it. Four you, months. You was fucked up about that white shit. <laughs> oh, you talking about? The white girl? Yeah. I'm talking about white girl, another girl. Name a relationship I've been out of four months. 
I never had it a long time. It seemed long enough for me. Y'all had, four man, months, y'all had man. photos and everything. Four months, man. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 you know what they got the pictures that's, what, that's what good dick do. <laughs> oh, good man. dick make bitches want to move you in and take photos and shit. Nigga, it's serious and shit. Yeah. Taking pictures. Yeah. yeah, that's what good dick do. Good dick makes bitch be All like, bro. All matching plaid and then, t-shirts and shit. You know how they had two kids? One was like white, white, and one was like mixed white. I'm going to just say he was only nice to the mixed one. <laughs> nah, but you know, when you got a white child that the parents are telling them shit, like the white parents telling them shit, they looks to tell it all. Like, he was like, hey, you want to go? They be like, mm, yeah, he was your, your, yeah, your daddy told you stay away from black people. All right, you little fuck ass cracker. All right, that's what we on. <laughs> that's right, how so, he used to treat them you know, Nah, you know, he, he was scraped on all of that for but I, I quit the, you know, a lot of niggas don't understand. I done been in the projects a lot, bro. I, I fuck so many ratchet bitches, man. I love ratchet. I'm talking about, and the pussy be clean, smell like water. Outside, shoes all bottom of feet, dirty, same jeans on three days, going that bust down, shit still clean. You know what I'm saying? And I had bitches that was bank tellers, right? And and they be clean, like, put yeah, hand sanitizer. Like, yeah, man, shit smell pussy. like fish sweat and some more shit. Man, you right here faking. But what I'm saying is, right. the ratchet, right. the, the ratchet yeah. chicks, right? They be having some badass kids. And you know, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna do it on the face, but man, I done, I slap shit out of kids, man. You know I mean, like, nah, for real. Like, I done had kids, like, I done came in the house one time, this bitch was so bad, dog. This bitch was bad. Shit, I made that bitch. Up. She like, yeah, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to see what's up. What you better pull up? Like, yeah, bring some weed. All right. That's the number one thing in the project for a bitch who ain't got shit for a food stamp card. She just wants some weed. But I went over the house this time, I remember this shit specifically, dog. Man, just as soon as I got in the house, you know, usually. The bomber, she gonna hit him with a chest chop. You know what I'm saying? Get out of his face. <laughs> man, this little nigga, as soon as I came to the door, like, come out of time. Come out of time, come out of time, come out of time. I just thought, <laughs> <"Come out of time." laughs> I'm like, but I'm looking at her. She like, she just smoking a cigarette. Boy, leave him alone. But he punching and kicking me hard as fuck. And looking at me like, yeah, nigga, that shit. I'm like, okay. Come out of time, right? He kicking the fuck out of me, man. I'm sitting down. Come out of time. Come out of time. Come out of time. All right. So the mama there the whole time, though. She said, I'm not okay. She get up to go upstairs or some shit like that. And to the man, as you know, man, I chest chopped the shit out that nigga, man. Style. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, did him so dirty. He he had to do the stop breathe shit. <laughs> oh. and it's a shame I'm talking about how I slap shit out little kids, but man, I will fuck you up, little man. Listen, I'm talking about the nigga had to do you know, the stop breathe. The, 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 yeah, 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 <laughs> for a long ass yeah. time, that nigga scratch. He said, "Who touched my baby?" Like, he couldn't even get it. I said, "Man, that nigga lying, man. I ain't never touched him. I was like, hey, look." <laughs> so I hit his mom. She put him to sleep. I hit his mom and right took her down. Boy, your mama fucked up about you, boy. Your mama had some good stuff. So I took her down. And then every time I came over there after that, do you know that nigga come to the door? That nigga see that nigga. Mm, he just grabbed his mama. I'm like, come like, mm. <laughs> He hates you. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Nah, I hate bad kids. Nah, I hate bad kids. Uh, Especially no. if the mama don't control him. I remember um, our dad had uh, dated this one lady up in Atlanta. Her son was so fucking bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Day, the little one, heathen. One, oh, yeah. He was one wrong. Day, one day, I, one day, day was she, slow. they left me with him. And the nigga kept kicking me on the couch, bro. So mm-hmm. I took his foot and I twisted that bitch. And I told him, I said, now nah, I'm like in the fifth grade. Oh, yeah. I told him, I said. I said nigga did that you got served. I said, let him dance again. I said, next time you kick me, I'm going to chop off your feet. So then the next day. <laughs> His bigger sister, he told his bigger sister, and she told her mom, and so her mom called my dad. And my dad was like, you told that boy you was going to chop off his feet? And I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> I don't want to say nothing like that. But yeah, no, remember yeah. I stopped fucking, um, remember I was fucking with old, old girl, mm-hmm. and the one the one night when her uh, kids was just doing too much, that's when I was like, bro, I can't fake it no more, bro. Yeah. I, we can have that talk all the time. I was like, I'm done, And the bro. FaceTime? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up? What you doing? <laughs> like, move. Yeah. See, it's got some. I respect if I just meet a woman and I don't meet her kids. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I done hit it. chicks for like months and I never seen a child. Mm. And it was one girl I had, I met. I wanted to say her name too because I was looking for her, man. Maybe she would have seen because she's on popping right now. You can now. say her name. That's one, one of the biggest parts. I'm not. Seen no, she's probably not one of the biggest parts. It's because I'm here. I done tried to be up, you know. I done tried to be up. Y'all all right, now. Y'all like, I'm on your feet. He talking crazy. Shut your ass up, bitch. He got finger snap fame. You know finger snap fame is? This nigga. Y'all pop, you know, pay the bitch. Pay the bitch. You talking about, oh, shit. Yeah, that's a secret. But me, I'm gonna put up a poll. <laughs> if you knew Rossiano, 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 Rossiano within Rossiano. the last ten years, all the motherfuckers who really know me, the motherfuckers who kill it, up. tying bitches up, doing fan <laughs> bids and shit. I don't know the professional right, motherfuckers listen, listen. like that. We finna get into the what it is, what it ain't pushing. And with these answers, nigga, don't give us motherfucking story times. <laughs> give us straight answers. God damn. Who wrote we, this shit? We got places to be. You niggas, buddy, as well. Every time I jump on the motherfucking phone, look at this. 
I got goddamn every time, man. Every time. Yeah, you know why? Because I'm popping in the city right now. You know what I'm saying? He need to listen. He need to understand. What, you see your man get yeah, money. We friends on. The, we friends on there yet? No. Oh man. Yeah, nigga getting money. <laughs> All right, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> nigga doing. Nigga doing. Nigga doing three hundred pull up straight. I know they're gonna be like every time he have one of his siblings, bro. <laughs> Bitches be with the hoes, be lying, sure Listen, I don't know what is <laughs> in my mama and daddy DNA. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's get into what it is, what it ain't. So basically, what it is, what it ain't, I'm going to throw out a current event or uh, a topic, and then we just going to say whether that's what it is or what it ain't. So, uh, nigga, turn it down. I did, my Kiki Palmer. I love Kiki. So, supposedly, we all see Kiki Palmer's back with her baby daddy. Come on, who man, who the big it was a big internet fiasco yeah. they break up all of that he she abusive, said he right? was abusive yeah. all of that yeah, 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 all yeah. y'all hoes are debating me on Twitter mm-hmm. so she's supposedly pregnant by him again mm. and they're back together back popping out it's just what it is what it ain't that's their business that's what that's it is fine. I don't know yeah he got his business that's, I, that's what it is cause Everybody be doing that. We we already, we already knew that's what it was on Facebook yeah. every other week we already knew that's what it was right so she was trying to do her big one on that nigga because she felt like that nigga need him and shit. She the really, she really the abusive one. Yeah, like, she like, really the narcissist. Yeah, let's start there. Yeah, her and her mama. Yeah, her and her big ass, <laughs> fat ass mama. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what that mama. Fat funky mama. cheesy. I don't do fat funky cheesy. <laughs> she and that bitch. Usher is gay. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> you and your family don't know shit. Usher, Usher catching the stray is crazy. Yeah. Um, nah. So yeah. So I, I guess we all agree that's what it Usher is. Don't deny that. Uh, City boys up, cause <laughs> that boy and look, he back cheesing like yup. Yeah. Got that hood. And I got her, nigga. Okay. Grocery bag. Uh, Marlon Wayans and Vlad been going back and forth for the last twenty four hours I seen on Twitter. That. In regards to Vlad reaching out about doing an interview with Marlon Wayans, Marlon Wayans telling him it'll be forty k. Vlad was clearly upset and decided he wanted to out Marlon and say, like, who the fuck do you think you are? You don't <laughs> to get that many views. 40K is crazy. And they've been going back and forth. Um, I've been seeing different arguments. Is this what it is or what it ain't? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence because, for one, I think it's snitching a little bit. But then also, um, you know like, taking it public Vlad. is just weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, but right. Vlad White. But also, like, I agree with Vlad, though. Who the fuck do you think you is? Because, yeah. like, let's be real. If if your shit do 100,000 to 300,000 views, that's no that type of money, money for real. Right. You might like, be getting that 40K back. Yeah, that's not even $700. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, on some YouTube shit. Like, it's not really. So it's like, yeah, what you, what you saying? But, but a nigga might not fuck with Vlad. So that's exactly. what my price is. I feel like... Vlad feel played because he fee. did. It's a fuck nigga fee yeah. because you're Vlad. You know mm-hmm. for snitching. You know for doing these interviews and Vlad not known for snitching. He's he, known for getting niggas to snitch on his platform. <laughs> it, and, it ain't hard to get niggas to snitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and number two, Vlad is like kind of like you know a lot of people feel like he's a culture vulture. Mm-hmm. Like he bites off the culture and you know so yeah it's a fuck nigga fee. Like every nigga not gonna want to come sit down with you just because you Vlad. Right. But what was the point of outing it? Like, that was weird. You know, if you ain't want to pay the fee, just move around. Yeah, but he do show that all the time. I think that's his way of um, just, like, keep saying, saying yeah, fuck yeah, you to yeah, niggas yeah. and shit. And like, yeah. and then, like, just making it a thing or whatever. Yeah. How you feel? I ain't, it ain't my business. I don't know. I ain't speaking on that. <laughs> I went down. Man, I'm doing it. 100. All right. Come on. Lastly. Um... um Mm, um, I'm gonna go. We're gonna talk about record sales. So a lot of people been dropping their albums. Um, JT dropped her album. She did 27k first week. Polo G just dropped his album. He yeah, did 24k first week. Ice Spice did like I think 25, 24. Mustard did like 22, 23, something like that. So as you see, where the numbers is at compared to like the mega stars, like a nigga. Who mm-hmm. just, just did 200, 200. Mm-hmm. in the first week? But how we feeling about that? Is this what it I'm is? I'm gonna take stick on this though. Polo G is a mega star. I mm-hmm. don't know about this last incident with 24. I ain't looked at the numbers on it, but every album he dropped prior to that went platinum, mm-hmm. and um, he got a few number one overall on the top 200 Billboard. 
I seen his name a lot on uh, I like Polo G. But um, yeah. he stay out of the way. He just put out music. He's, his mama he's, crazy. He's, but one, he's, 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 that, he's that dude. He, but okay, this is why I wanted to ask you because. But what you saying? What you like, saying what it is? What it ain't? Yeah, like, what you really that, asking? Like, is I feel like is that what it is or what it ain't that we putting so much emphasis on numbers? Because at this point, I'm starting to feel like we're getting into a place where it's like numbers don't they matter, but they don't. I feel like. Only people who try to make numbers matter are the people who need numbers to keep their relevancy. I think the only people who feel like numbers matter the way it do to where it's affecting shit like this is the mm-hmm. artists because that's where they bottom line is at. Yeah. To where like, nah, we don't get motherfuckers who make... Like a lot of artists, mm-hmm. they first album be that only album that's yeah, like off the numbers. love and like they really right. being creative on. The rest of this shit, right. that's why we getting 25 song tapes and shit because mm-hmm. niggas trying to run them streams up so the numbers where the mm-hmm. money at and that's all they care about. Bro. But let's be real. This shit ain't about I the don't think, no more. I don't even think some artists care about the numbers so much because they're not even eating off these streams and shit. They don't make no money off that. They yeah. make money no, off every, touring every, every, and endorsing. But it's, a, it's a every, something to throw every, back at the next every person. Every 1,500 mm-hmm. streams is a download. So, you know... They, they care about the money, but do I don't say this? Life, the universe is numbers. I will say that, and you got to think about it. Like the time is numbers. Without mm-hmm. time, how would y'all meet? How would y'all know where to meet at? You know, what I'm saying like in the old days, they say, "Oh, when the sun is off the tree, life is." Num-. <laughs> and whether you talking about basketball, or you talking about football, anything you do, numbers is going to represent your performance. So. They care about the numbers, yeah. mm-hmm. but it's just different seasons. It's different antiques to got um, to everything you do. You don't drop when this person's dropping. You got to have a different style from what was. You got to reiterate yourself. That's why mm-hmm. only certain artists get that goat. See, yeah. the goat is really the longevity of things. It's not gonna be oh, because he came in and did this right here, but then he ain't here for them no more. So if you mm-hmm. can keep putting those numbers up, twenty years. Yeah, you a goat. This yeah. this this how I feel. I'm, yeah, it's, of course, numbers is going to separate the goats and the legends from the temporary people who just here right now. But I feel like any day of the week, you could turn on the radio, and a lot of these people who albums ain't selling good, they're dominating radio. You know what I'm saying? Versus the people who albums are doing good, their songs don't last on radio. So all I'm saying is, I don't feel like to be relevant right now, you have to do the best numbers. I think but, social but media plays see, more, but, more of a has more of an impact. I think endorsements have more of an impact, and I think just it's really more like outside of being an artist, it's like you have to be an entertainer now. Like you have to yeah. entertain the population. I understand that, but you got to look at it like this though. When you're talking about actually getting rich. You don't see nobody with a single that's well off. But mm-hmm. people, name me somebody who has platinum singles that you heard of. Um, hit the Quan, hit the Nay Nay. Just where are these people at? But now right. let's name people whose album went platinum. Mm-hmm. Lil Uzi Vert, yeah, Post Malone, Polo G. Mm-hmm. Albums don't go platinum like that. That's All right? true. So the intellectual properties you get from an album going platinum is way more detrimental than a single going platinum because Mm -hmm. when your album goes platinum now you is considered look at Cardi B right I was about to say Cardi B is a perfect example she ain't dropped another album since Yeah, you get what I'm saying now the singles of course you're gonna you're gonna have radio play if your album went platinum Mm -hmm. hands down you have to be the nowadays social media guy to where you don't have to be on the radio to Mm -hmm. be a successful artist that's true you could just be popping radio radio not even like Mm -hmm. that's what I was finna say like it depends on what we are looking at as relevance because that's the numbers is what's showing that mm-hmm. motherfuckers is not as relevant as right. they think they is. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, you may be popular, mm-hmm. but we don't listen to your music. You know what I'm saying? Like I disagree. You, you get an ice spice, a JT, like yeah, in our mm-hmm. circles, but do your shit like cross over anywhere? And then that's where you're gonna get twenty something. See, that's why I feel like I feel like the only people who do good numbers are the ones who have like a stand following. Nicki Minaj, Beyonce, Adele, Sexy Rihanna, Red do good numbers. Not. These people that I'm naming, nah, she but, don't see, do but no, she not gonna do. But she just yeah. came out. She not gonna do but Nicki numbers. What, they got long so albums. They can't. I'm they just, grandfathered in. Basically, the point I'm trying to make is they be comparing these newer artists mm-hmm. who is doing 30k and stuff to these mega stars, and it doesn't correlate because they have they have. But such skill a, wise, you can do that though. Because the numbers gonna be different because they got mm-hmm. this fan base, but we can easily say that Meg, yeah, Meg don't be selling, but right. Meg done out rap Nikki. If we talking about over the last, right? Like, so that's so what I'm saying. You, you, you no, can no, say no, that. No, no, that's no. my whole point. Never, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep it. Keep, 
Yeah, she has that. That's some. That's some Nikki, songs. Over the past five Nikki's years, you talking that's about Meg or Nicki? Nah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying right here. When you saying as charismatic, like as a character, mm-hmm. like and I okay, I be oopy and all that to get the women. Yeah, she does like put on the facade to try to make it like. Oh, I'm a real hot girl. I was like, but you talking about I'm talking bar, about rapping. I'm talking about freestyles, all that. Just, Megan went on the no, 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 Freestyles, no, 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 all that. You tripping? Diss track for diss track. Megan went when they went back. And, and, and not even no diss track shit. Well, just just freestyle about, shit. You know what y'all talking about? Just freestyle. Listen, no, listen, Nikki, Nikki's a legend. You talking about somebody that can go toe to toe with Eminem on the track? But listen, listen, Megan's track. Hold on, because I don't want us to get off topic. I'm basically hitting back on what you were saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. I feel like everybody likes to do comparisons about numbers, but if we keep it at the music. And what sounds that's good what really and what's, matters, yeah. that's what matters. I'm so tired of them like, okay, like Lotto just dropped. Or JT. JT dropped a good project. And they mm-hmm. trying to like, oh, she only sold 27K and comparing her to Nicki yeah. Minaj. You can't compare the two. Like, but see, that's why she's but, not gonna do Nicki numbers. But that's why you gotta separate rappers from artists. Mm-hmm. Because all the we sit here, we argue about J. Cole, yeah. Nicki, Kendrick, yeah. Drake, all them, but all these people are artists. So mm-hmm. like the music that they make, it actually means something. That shit goes somewhere, so where like right. it's something there. So the numbers and shit don't the numbers is still there and they able to make music that actually means yeah. something. Meanwhile, these other motherfuckers, they trying to get popular. So they not they making little and popcorn music, throwaway music. Art and music is subjective. So but, it's like it's just like when me and you argue and I'm like nigga Kendra got I mean Cole got one of the best catalogs like Kendra not touching his catalog and then you like nigga what are you talking you know it's yeah, subjective it's, it's like whatever but we'll go on all day let's get into tweet of the day and then let's get into the topic um okay tweet of the day so um basically who's this at D Zosef quoted a tweet so you know the tweets they be having on the timeline. Mm-hmm. Child predator came to meet a little kid and got trucked really hard. Watch to the end. So he quoted it. I seen that. And it went viral. He said, man, these niggas really don't care about the victims. They just want an excuse to beat niggas up, bro. Mm-hmm. Is that what it is or what it ain't? Because I've been waiting to speak on this. I feel like that's what it is. I seen, I seen something else that said, um, like, these niggas is trying to, like, Guys is under some Chris Hansen shit, but they forgetting mm-hmm. like what made this show like watchable and everything like that. Because mm-hmm. yeah, they really not are they even calling the police? Like what's really happening? They really just beating up on niggas and it's like I don't know, like yeah. it's I get it, like, but it's like, bro, like it don't make you cool because like nobody agrees with this shit. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's like at the same time, it's like it's weird. And number two is like some of the people who I see getting into it, like straight weirdos, like the one Russian nigga. Who, mm-hmm. um, you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, the YouTuber, and you just pull in anybody. It's like it's the new fad. Yeah, you know? it's like why is it? Why is like why is Ocho Cinco here? <laughs> yeah, like what <laughs> yeah, are we like, doing? What the fuck going busting, on? busting predators and shit. Like it's like oh, okay, this is what's getting millions of views right now. So we just gonna hop on it. So I don't even feel like y'all doing it for the victims. Y'all right, doing right, it for right, like right, sincerity. Right. Y'all just doing it, and y'all be beating the shit out of them niggas. <laughs> Slapping them niggas around and shit. <laughs> and I'm not. Slapping me, them in the back listen, of the neck. Listen, I'm not justifying like fuck pedals, but god damn. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the nigga in that video, they fucking line back this nigga into a pole, like knock down half of the fucking building structure and all. It just be like. <laughs> Nah, I'm It'd saying. It'd be the way they be beating them stone up. Stone them niggas, but it's like, what's the. Like, why y'all not just calling the police on these niggas? Like, what's going on? <laughs> it's like, what's happening after? Like, can we get like a report? That's why me, you linking up, like, really making a fake account, acting like a little girl. Like, that shit just weird to me. I think y'all kind of weird for doing that too. Like, I don't know. Like, because you got to play. Like, you role playing low key. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I it's don't the, to know. me it's the way they beat them niggas up bro it's like so like smacking them yeah, so like elementary school bully shit like and I'm like, not gonna lie again not just I, <laughs> but I don't like it when it be the white boys like the pedal is a black man like <laughs> they beat the shit out of him like, I'm like alright <laughs> like Nah, this nigga deserve to be stoned, but get some niggas to do it. Like, I <laughs> nah, don't know. <laughs> nah, that's fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. nah. I, it's, it's just like it is what it is. Yeah, it's just that type of shit. Oh my God, that shit ain't got weird, man. <laughs> yeah, nah. All right, nah, come nah, on. Nah, we finna get into topics. Put the phone down. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. That nigga, nah. Let's get into it. Yeah, I think I'm not accepting that. Yeah. That shit ain't got crazy. Oh, yeah. I be seeing some shit. I be like, what the fuck? That like Shamar. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that. You yeah. ain't my friend. <laughs> you is my enemy. Okay, so we're gonna get into the topic. All right, yeah. So um, today we're gonna talk about uh, asking for help. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, just being me, you know what I'm saying? We all got pride and all that bullshit, but sometimes growing up is just knowing when to accept help and sometimes just knowing when to ask type shit. So I'm going to get y'all boys take on it. Yeah, man, that's that's a good topic because that's something I definitely struggle with. Um, asking for help, especially depending on like who it is. Just as a man, sometimes you just feel kind of like out of place asking for help. But I have come to a place now in these last few years because I have been like a sole provider for like a lot of people around me and in my family and stuff and was there for them in their time of need. And they used to always tell me like, don't be scared to ask for help. Don't be scared to ask for help. Now when I do go through things, mm -hmm. certain people I will ask for help because mm -hmm. it's like, I've been there for you before, so I shouldn't be scared to ask. You know what I'm saying? But like as a man, and it's a difference. like. Asking your old lady for help versus asking your mama for help is two different things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. I was going to say, like, asking for help, I feel like when they come to my, my peoples and shit like that, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's that, that I don't really look at in a certain type of way or whatever. I still might not ask, but but really more so, let's talk about, like, with bitches, bro. Mm -hmm. With women, I mean. Let's talk about with women because... I feel like with your with your girl and especially like these days, all the shit that women require or gonna ask you because a lot mm -hmm. of women gonna come with their hand out or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. like I feel like niggas should be able to be like, oh yeah, like I need this, that, and the third too on some shit. But mm -hmm. at the same time, I don't like surrendering that type of uh, that type of control and shit to women. At the same time, yeah. But some of you bitches be on that though. Yeah, it depends on what type of woman you dealing with. Like you know, like like you know what I'm saying. Some women make you feel comfortable asking and then but a woman could make you feel comfortable and then the first time she don't make you feel comfortable you'll never ask again yeah like For yeah. Real. <laughs> the first time she like hmm i see like oh bitch i ain't never asking you uh -huh. again like uh -huh. now you got me feeling played it's, you don't got nobody else you can ask yeah how you feel about it just coming home and rebuilding yourself up and things like that um do you feel like it puts you how does it make you feel as a man if, like, you feel like you have to ask for something from your family or a woman you're dealing with? I'm asking, nigga. What the fuck wrong with you? <laughs> fuck I'm asking, nigga. See, when you come, when you grow up doing shit like you selling drugs and, mm -hmm. and robbing all that shit, it comes with help. Like, that's the streets. Like, if your man got the work and you know you know how to hustle, like, bro, put me on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you come into jail, and these niggas already in here and they know you, mm -hmm. hey, bro, they're gonna look out for like, that's just part of being black, really. You know what I'm saying? This is part of being black. Now you talking about asking a woman, that's a whole different thing. That's different. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm with that too though. But I'm somebody, I don't know, come home jail shit. I'm like, <laughs> shit, if I find anything wrong with this mm -hmm. bitch, okay. Yeah, all right, I'm on your ass. Hey, yeah, you know I gotta, um, yeah, all right, cause what's mine is mine and what's yours is mine. Fuck that, cause this ain't no, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I ain't gonna be sitting here just. Wait, what? You. Yeah, if this bitch got anything wrong with her, I need something. Fuck that! I'm not gonna just be hitting you and. I'm anything losing. wrong like what? Ugly chip tooth, um, anything, nigga, any defect. So you just you go looking for anything? Defects. No, I'm talking about if she come on to me. I ain't trying to holler at no chick if I can't find her attractive. Mm -hmm. But if she, I don't find her attractive, she holler at me. Uh, so you feel like. If you fucking with somebody who you don't find attractive because they're not worthy to be fucking with you, they owe you pretty much. I ain't much. saying not worthy, but it's an unwritten rule that you paying for these services. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. You paying for these services. And that's just how it goes. So I hope y'all oh watching. Oh, my God. If, if you know something's wrong with you and you try to holler at me, I hope you have something to offer because it's not going to work. It ain't gonna work, man. Hey, you, you know, know what, though? <laughs> that's real, though. Because, but now, it if is. I like what I see, it's different. I'm gonna give you the chance. Mm -hmm. I'll give you the chance. I ain't saying a chance in a relationship. I'm saying a chance like to have a commitment because you know I'm a straightforward guy. Mm -hmm. I do what the fuck I want to do. I hope you do what the fuck you want to do because I'm doing it. And don't be saying, "I was like, you did this, bitch." I never told you we got to be. I mean, I'm for long for short, but I'm saying like a chick who. Um, nah, I don't play that. I'm doing what I want to do, but you're not doing what you want to do. Oh no, nah, I don't <laughs> care what you do, and I'm not gonna act like I care. No, mm -hmm. I don't care what you do. I don't care to you, my old lady. See, I don't got, I don't know how to do it. Like, you got, but you got to be the one for me to, one to say that part. Like, you gonna be my girl? Like, cause once if I could, if I could bust a nut and then wake up and still want to be around you, you fine. You be wrong. Cause usually most of the time when I come, I'm that's, trying to that's get. That's a up. word. What? 
I, I fuck with that. Yeah, what, what, that's what? true. If I could it, bust it, nah, not after the, after I come. If I wake up that next morning, I'm like, man, if I ain't like that, no, nah, I'm then saying, it's listen, real. as soon as I nut, I feel different. Yeah, me I too. don't want to be around no more. Oh, yeah. I don't even be <laughs> fine. Say she got a pimple right here, so I'm like, you know what? That shit there, yeah. I'm out. It's over with. Yeah. I just I start finding yeah, shit I don't like about her. Yeah, yeah, I just start yeah, finding shit saying. I don't like about her. Yeah. So, and you could do the same for me because I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't care. But I'm just saying, like literally, um, yeah, I need something. I'm getting too old. The biological clock not going up no more. It's finna start going down. So, I'm not gonna be sitting here wasting my time. Man, you could waste you could waste anything, not my time though, man. I ain't got time to waste no time. So if I find a chick, so basically, I, if he if you if he fucking with you and he asking you for a lot, you're not attractive. That's what he's saying. No, that ain't true. That's what you bring, that sums it up. That's <laughs> why you asking for. You might be messing up some shit I got going on. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, nah, but asking, um, yeah, asking as a man, it just depends on the certain situations, certain scenarios. You know what I'm saying? I'm more comfortable with asking, like, you know, for help now. I used to didn't even used to ask, like, my people, my yeah. mom, my sister, nobody. But now, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. So like, so like, when it comes with women, bro, this be my thing. I don't really ask. I ain't gonna ask you for nothing. Mm -hmm. But if you asking me for shit, you not getting nothing from me. Like, I'm talking mm -hmm. about like we going to we go on dates, shit like that. But I'm not, I'm not cash and not like that. Like, I'm not mm -hmm. doing that, especially if. You not doing nothing for me, right? Like, cause for for a nigga, all we ask is like serviceable shit, yeah. like rub a nigga back, Feed. yeah, like the little shit you can do, Head like in the morning. little intimate. Yeah, I, you know I ain't asking for what I deserve though. Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna ask for that. You got to be doing that. Yeah. So it's like if you ain't doing that, why you even asking, asking for something? Me, and then yeah. once you start doing that shit, then I, you know, what I'm saying then they, then we but can see I from don't, there. Like he said, I don't like asking for that. Like if you don't already know, like you should know how to please them. Yeah, I'm not finna teach you how to be no woman. Yeah, that shit aggravating. Yeah, when you got to teach a woman how to be a woman, that shit make you just want to leave, bro. And it always be the real fine hoes who yeah. like you got to train up. Cause they been like pampered nah, and pussy see, all their life. See, uh, uh, every chick got a place with a bad bitch. She don't got no place. She's used to when she goes to the door to be like, "Well, I'm leaving these man. Why are you going? Don't go, don't touch the door." Mm -hmm. So I understand that because well, chicks who don't really got shit nigga, wrong with them in the physical, they always fucked up. See, but that's how that's how life gets you though. But niggas who get a lot of hoes, we the same way though. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? It be, I'm the, say, it be so the same type of shit. When you get a bad bitch, like. You, it, niggas be like that about their first bad bitch. Yeah. Your first bad bitch, you be stupid about. But once, like, you get a few bad bitches. I like dealing with the reason why I like dealing with, like, I guess what you would say a bad bitch is because I feel like we see each other. You mm. know what I'm saying? I feel like yeah, a, we agree on yeah, something. Yeah, I feel like a nigga we represent I, each other. Yeah, right. I feel like a nigga could like right. I could be myself because you already know what it see, is. When I you know what it is. We both, you know what I'm saying? When I was 14, the one, the. 13, 14, though my, my first that I ever messed with, she was a bad bitch, but she was 17. So she gave me the game on everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She taught me how to kiss all that shit. So she made it worse for everybody else. So when I had that in my dialect, like, okay, that's where it starts at. So I knew how to handle everybody else. Like, I ain't tell them that, but I'm like, mm -hmm. you on the way. Okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Eat it up. Yeah, do this. Blah, blah. But mm -hmm. when it came to a bitch that was close to her caliber, I treated them different. Mm -hmm. And even, you know, and if, a, if a, that matters though. Self care, like it matters if you take do. care of yourself, and because if you ain't gonna do it, who else gonna do it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so that fucks with their mental too. Like yeah. when you do, when a bad bitch know that you don't fuck with other bad bitches, and they can't get the reaction out of you that they get out of them ducks, it fucks with them mentally. Yeah. They be like, See, I, I, I said I'm leaving, <laughs> but you know, but a, real, right, a, real, a chick that's really bad. She's gonna commence another bad bitch. She's gonna be like, oh, she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But a chick who got Denial, or she mm -hmm. knows she's not other system. She the one be like, "Oh, that's who you talk to. Oh, you talk to. Her. She, she will have conflict." Oh, that's, your, that's what you like. That's yeah. your type. Mm -hmm. I'm not even your type. The ones mm -hmm. who not because I know that's bad. Which is to have um that's insecure. But as far as like the shit is like low self esteem, I don't be catching that with them too much. I always catch like they be like, "Oh, did you, she bad." Like they they don't mind. Yeah, they, they don't yeah, mind telling me they don't fuck that bitch too. You know, so mm. like, well, well, some bad bitches be mean girls though. So mm. sometimes they just not, I don't like they're nice not gonna call it. But the thing about bad, the thing mm. about bad women though is because they used to niggas like always wanting mm. a piece of them and shit. You not really gonna like it take a minute to really get them type of hoes. Like like they mm. see the real them. They gonna have their little their little persona first that you mm. kind of gotta pick through. Once you get through that shit, then that. But shit like I tell you, I, like I feel like that's that's that be my favorite. In the beginning, to get, it's like a humbling stage. Like we talk about all the time. Like I like my bitches to see the bitches I don't fuck with because I got a bad little roster. So, bitch, you're gonna see like 
I'm not gonna say you're not the baddest. Yeah. But all y'all was bad. Yeah. See, but I don't be trying to I don't be trying to cuff like that. So, you know, mm. you know, I mean if it gotta be something How many that, relationships you been in? Let's not ask me how many cigarettes I smoke, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, That's, all, I love all my hoes, man. But it's ones that I care about more. Don't, than you others. contradicting yourself. You just said you don't like being in a relationship. Now you talking about you love all your. I hoes. love my hoe. How many official you your girl, your hoe? How many? No, that's my girl, my <laughs> hoe. I kiss <laughs> all my bitches. I, I ain't gonna say it. Uh, I, I don't kiss them all. I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I kiss them all. Okay? I, don't I, fuck, I don't fuck uh, like some hoes for I don't like fuck, months. I don't be fucking with no like, super eaters. I don't be kissing. Yeah, I be kissing all. Nah, I used to kiss eaters. I don't like. I don't like. I don't fuck eaters no more. I ain't gonna lie. I can't say that. That's when I know I gotta stop fucking with a bitch. Like when I'm fucking and she keeps trying to kiss me and I'm dodging. I'm like, yeah, I gotta stop fucking. Yeah, I gotta speak for present tense. I'm not saying I kiss all my hoes like I do it now because I ain't been out long enough to do that with a lot of. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't been. It's, but I'm saying like before, yeah, I did. I kissed all my hoes, but now mm. like I got, I got to really like. But you. my brother told me the same shit that he don't be kissing. I be like, bro, you don't be. I'm like, what's wrong with you? Bro? I used to did. Like, bro, why are you not kissing? I used to not understand. But you're not kissing. No, if that, that bitch wrong, I'm kissing that bitch. No, if you wrong, I'm kissing you. But if I, I, I don't like you, like, like I gotta be in love with you. Way. Like my old lady, yeah, I be tongue but kissing. Sometimes when I'm in the kiss is the way you can fuck. Like I done had some bitches that he be like, no, I don't want to do nothing. No, no, and he kissing, he be like. Mm. <laughs> and they start grabbing their head. The moment you stop kissing, she's like, "No, I told you. Like, Hold up, you kiss the bitch." Nah, going I to go trans. straight for the titties. I'm gonna just suck the on your titties. Ain't shit, man. I'm gonna suck on your titties. Kiss it, man. No, no, no. I'm gonna go for your neck or your titties. <laughs> you touch That's the pussy. Suck on your titties and touch on the pussy. That's all you gotta do. All that kissing shit. I don't like kissing you if I don't like. Because I'm really trying to get some top first. I ain't trying. Oh, that's going. Oh, all I gotta do is put your hand on it. That's. I'm gonna pull it out. Shut the fuck up. You ain't been. You ain't been. Talking about all I gotta do put your hand on you gonna suck dick. What the fuck is that? Yes, yes, it worked every time. Every time, nigga. Shut your ass up. Shut your ass up. Like nigga, that. you been gone 10 years. You ain't got no pussy in 10 years. You nah, don't know what the fuck going on out here. Shut your ass up. I was out the gate. Yeah. Hey, cap. Out the gate. I just picked him up. He's talking about sex overrated. It is. Because <laughs> I, I waited 10, like, nigga, the bitch ate the dick, all that shit. It was all the bitch face, all that shit, but it was just like, this what I waited for, man. Let me go back to get the writing this music and shit. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and I did that. That's nothing. Yeah, because you wasn't fucking no bad shit. But all right, we got. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we got there was a few of them though. <laughs> one of them was like that. One of them was like that. Mm-hmm. All right, oh, um, one of them like that. We gotta, yeah, yeah. Let's get into yeah, it. You, you it. Was, yeah. Matter of fact, let's just um, yeah, we can hear let's get in the hygiene test of the day. All right, so this paid in base, you know what I'm saying? Well, we get money and wash our ass, so we always ask all our guests a hygiene tip. So give a hygiene tip. It could be the men, the women. Baby wipes, man. Okay. I always say that. Explain to them. No, I ain't explaining how to wipe your ass. You sound dumb as fuck. No, <laughs> you just said baby wipes, nigga. That could be for you wash ups. You just got out the pen. Niggas know what to do. First of all, it's not baby wipes. First of all, it's not baby wipes. It's flushable wipes. That's number one. I flush all wipes, man. I don't give a fuck about them people toilet, man. It ain't my shit. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> baby towels and shit. Okay, baby wipes. What else? Come on. Yeah, shit heavy. Come on, come on, come on. Because we got to go. Baby wipes. Um, Floss, brush, mouthwash every night. Mm-hmm. And then, after every meal, brush. Mm-hmm. I met a chick today. She was so raw, but that breath smelled like old soup. <laughs> like she ain't flossing. See what I'm saying? I said old soup. Um, <laughs> you're gonna need mm-hmm. Q-tips to convince your ears. If I see a chick with some earwax, it's old. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I don't like that. Oh, okay. earwax? Ear, like seeing yeah, you're seeing earwax oh, yeah, in the girl ear. Yeah, bitch ear. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't like. Um, I hate whenever I see a girl deodorant. Like so, like mm-hmm. ladies, I, just I like, deal with the deodorant. I know no, like that when shit. it's like yeah, crumble. Like, nah, I, I can deal with that. I mean shit. that you tried to get clean. But, yeah, but mm. that shit remind me of like when I was young, used to be hooping, and niggas used to be wearing mm. speed stick deodorant and shit, and that shit be all be, like, be like, like, like I don't like seeing like yeah, shit on women, lady. bro. Like yeah, like why are you kicking that shit on yeah. so much? Do a little light coat or something. Wipe that shit down. Or but something. that ain't gonna run me off though. No, it's just gonna bother me a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I that mean the bitch don't pay attention to details. Nah, at she don't listen to shit. You gonna tell her go pick something up? She gonna fuck it up. That's yeah. the girl who gonna bring me back the polo, the polo V necks. That's <laughs> yeah, like she ain't gonna bring anybody the white, the, like the white tee, bro. bro. You know I be wearing that V neck sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> the ones where they be like, I hate my bitch on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like she gonna bring you that pack. When did V necks become like? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Cause when, when them bitches started going too crazy, they had the UV. <laughs> Remember, I wore that V-neck. I said, "It's crazy." I'm wearing a V-neck today. <laughs> All right, we gotta wrap it up, man. Um, so thank you for the hygiene tips. Uh, let the people know where they can find you at. What's your social media, and let you them know what projects you're coming. No, you can find me on the strip. 
pimping hoes 24-7, big pistol on me. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit I be on. Nah, I'm bullshit. That's a long time ago. Rah Rah Rossiano on YouTube. Rah Rah. On YouTube is Rah Rah space Rossiano. R A R A space R A C I A N O. And you're going to get all the old mixtape stuff because I haven't been able to get to a steady time in the studio to drop all the new shit I got. I got so much new shit. This shit I'm, I'm, I'm going to flood the studio. But I got kind of legal stuff going on where I'm not going to be able to show up and be at that studio for a long period of time. So right now I'm just dropping a lot of hot shit on other platforms like Facebook and Instagram. But I got that shit jumping. Wawa Rossiano on Facebook and Instagram. Big Big um in real time freestyles and the shit is lit. I got the city quaking right now. All the bitches trying to eat me up. Y'all need to go through y'all hoes phone. But R A R A R A C I N O. So uh yeah, this shit lit. You know what I'm saying? This is what niggas on. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, listen, I just got out. So if you a real nigga, you know what niggas go through. Shoot a nigga a food stamp card, anything, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, niggas just did ten. I got shit, but it was mine is mine and was yours is mine. You a real nigga, pull up on me. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all talking about y'all scared ass. Fuck that, man. Where that shit at, man? (laughs) Where that shit at, man? (laughs) Niggas fucked up in this shit, man. Man, how you feel feel coming to do the pod today with us? You been hearing about it. How you feel? I ain't been hearing about it. But I um, (laughs) I feel like I came and I took this shit over, man. Fuck you mean, nigga. I'm in this shit. Y'all gonna have all type of bitches. Y'all gonna have white bitches. Black bitches, Chinese bitches, man, this shit finna be jumping, man. For you real. know he finna be a fan favorite, right? Man, listen, man. <laughs> I ain't yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If I say come it. back, cause by now I got next time when he come back, I got this legal come. situation going on right now for like a couple months. But when mm-hmm. I come back, I'm drinking. I was up. I ain't having no shirt on. And y'all better have a bad chick in here. I'm talking about bad. Oh, real. we got one. Oh yeah. Mm. Who y'all got? We, we, I ain't gonna tell you off camera. Okay. Why you gotta tell mm. me off camera, nigga? Man, you so Don't high. question you got a, my authority. He got, he got a fog in the corner of his glasses. <laughs> man, this shit out of control. Come on, I got to get out of here, man. Yeah, Before yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap it up. So, sit, nigga. All right, now, man, this is my shit. Go. This hey, our shit. Let's <laughs> go. Call your ass down. Time. Sit so down, good. nigga. This ain't child time. This ain't we outside, man. <laughs> you back let's in go. real life. I see I so, um, yeah, man, it's been a great episode. <sighs> I this, think this is the most I laugh in a long time. Yeah, this this is real life. Oh my god. Yeah, ladies. <laughs> yeah, ladies is crazy. This is real life. <laughs> this this is what we do all day, every really day. Know. But it's all jokes. This is how we joke and play too. I don't want y'all to think playing. it's I'm real deep. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna beat this nigga ass off camera as soon as this camera. It ain't gonna be his show no more. But I'm not. All right, so let's. I'm finna beat your ass. Man, hurry up, man. It's time, man. Shut up. Um. All right, so we gonna wrap it up. It's been a good episode. We appreciate you coming through. Y'all follow him on all platforms. Look out for his stuff. Some of his stuff on my page, too. I'm really the one who got him jumping in the city. Uh, so it's your boy, Low Key V. <laughs> it's your man, man. Wow, Rossiano, nigga. Free Freddy <laughs> Wade, nigga. We outside. And this is Paid <laughs> and Bays. Come on, nigga. You ain't, you ain't even paid today, man. <laughs> and Paid and Bays, hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, nigga. You ain't even paid today, man. And Paid and Bays, hell. Get funny and wash your ass, hell.